As with every season in Destiny 2, a new activity comes along. Season of the Lost brings Astro Alignment Offensive, a six-player matchmaking activity with a lot of fun mechanics that also require teamwork to be successful. It's not hard to figure out, but if you already know what to do, it's a win-win for everyone. So let's take a look at it. My name is Wes and thanks for tuning into the channel. As always, I really appreciate your being here. I hope you're having as much fun as possible in Season of the Lost. Similarly, I hope this video shed some light and if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, comment or consider subscribing. But if for some reason you don't enjoy it, it's okay to tell me by smashing the dislike button twice, two times. Let's go. Okay, you get access to the actual alignment activity after you complete the first mission, Cocoon. If you don't have the season pass, Bungie gives you a free trial to check it out. I believe you only get one session to try it out, then you will have to pay for the season if you want to play it again. That out of the way, you start the activity in the Dreaming City and you land it in the Blind Well. Most of the time, that's where you start. But there are times that you might get dropped in the second stage of the activity where there is a game already in progress. You can back out if you want to try from the beginning. Note that there is a possibility for the activity to be bugged. Basically, if you happen to get dropped in the second stage of the game, it's best to back out and start over. And Bungie already acknowledged there is a bug, so until they fix this, beware and avoid the frustration. We launch the activity and start over. Now, there are four stages in this activity. Stage 1, charge the compass. Stage 2, activate the beacon. Stage 3, Prevent the ether harvest or install the batteries. You could have one or the other because it's kind of random. Stage 4, retrieve the compass. That's the boss stage. As I mentioned before, stage 1 will start in the blind well area. You just kill everything and once the bar is full, you will notice a step on screen that says to insert the compass, which will teleport you to the next stage. Stage 2 will take place in a location called Lee Line Palace and the objective on screen will read Collapse the Taken Rift. Start by dropping a rally flag, then locate the beacon to start the activity. Your goal is to look for an orange bar taken enemy called Eye of Zero Raft. If you have done the last wish raid, it's similar to the Eye of Riven. Kill that taken enemy and it will drop a taken essence. You pick it up and drop it into a taken rift. You can't miss the rifts because they are all over the place. You can also use the Taken Essence to shoot enemies, but your goal is to dunk it in the Taken Rift. Stage 3. Prevent the Ether Harvest or Install the Battery. For this video, we have the one called Install the Battery. This is where teamwork is important. You will see some batteries in the distance, which you need to pick up and bring to the drop location. There are three batteries and six people. One team can pick up batteries while the other three defend them. Because when you are carrying the batteries, you move very slow and you can't really fight back, so your teammates need to follow you. After about 15 seconds or so, you will be exhausted and the battery will drop. Your teammate will need to pick it up and take it to the finish line. Pretty cool stuff, huh? But teamwork will be the key to get this done. Also, this stage is normally when you encounter overload and unstoppable champions, so you need to equip those mods from the seasonal artifact. That's kind of important. Also in this stage, the big lush shielded taken knights are immune and you can't do damage to them until you drop all the batteries. So do not waste your time trying to damage them until then. Stage four is the final stage. You will be teleported to where you started the blind well. There you will fight a big taken boss and a bunch of enemies. The boss is immune until you take his shield down with the taken essence. So save your super and heavy if you can. Additionally, pay attention to your screen for a message that says the eye of Zivra Raph has arrived. This is your cue to look for a taken blight bubble, find that enemy and kill it. Pick up the taken essence and use it to take down the boss's shield. Once you take the shield down, you can damage the boss. 
use your super heavy weapons, etc, etc. Rinse, repeat, you will conquer this fight. And once the boss is dead, you can pick up your loot. There are two chests, one you can open for free, the other one requires a currency called Parallax Trajectory. You need 150 of those to open the chest. You will eventually get many of those Parallax Trajectories by completing activities such as Gambit, Strikes, Heroic Public Events, etc, etc. As well as when you are completing the Shattered Realm mission quest. Pretty much playing the game will net you some of those Parallax Trajectories. Well my friends, that is it. I hope this was helpful. If you find this helpful in any way, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, or consider subscribing. I will be most appreciative. Thanks again for watching. See you guys in the next one.